What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. <sighs> After filming this video six times, I finally decided to get in the truck because there's a reefer over there and for whatever reason, people can't get parked and they're taking eight, nine, ten stabs to get into the spots. And it's not just one truck, it's multiple. And they've all got the, the backup alarm beeper and that's all you could hear in the video. Beep, 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 air brake, air brake, air brake, beep, 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 air brake, air brake, and I just, fine, we'll go inside. Y'all know how much I hate filming in the truck. <laughs> but here we are. So, <clears throat> uh, we've been parked for about an hour and a half and ran out about nine and a half, 9.45 of our 11. Um, the next town over does not allow for overnight parking. I, uh, I don't know why. Uh, apparently the city ordinance is two hours. So we stopped here in Grand Junction. Colorado, by the way. Um, not exactly where I wanted to be uh, for reasons, but here we are. We picked up in Hanson, Idaho, and we made it this far, and we'll have this unit dropped at 9 a.m. tomorrow which means we are also doing a 13 hour break instead of 10. But uh, no point in getting on the road earlier than we can deliver, right? Dealer doesn't accept units before nine, we're four hours away. Sounds like hit the road at five. <clears throat> Not gonna be upset about sleeping a couple extra hours. Uh, from there, we go up to Nebraska, and then up to North Dakota. And from there, uh, probably Indiana. Right now, I'm not seeing anything on the load board out of the North Dakota area heading towards Indiana, and that's the goal. We are going to Indiana, uh, especially with that giant mess on Interstate 80 right now. Uh, give them some time to clean that up. We'll bounce around in the east. Um, I have friends and family over there, so we'll uh, find some loads and go visit people we don't normally get to see. <clears throat> all in all, uh, uneventful day. A little bit of traffic in Salt Lake, but we're approaching that time of year where the snow and ice is going to be less and less. Unfortunately, people didn't understand that you have to slow down on that stuff and that's what caused that mess on Interstate 80. And there's nothing you can tell me that will make me think otherwise. <clears throat> Unless you can show me video camera footage of a wheel falling off of the front truck that caused the whole accident and him sliding out of control and that causing the pileup, it was people going too fast. Um, I see it all the time on I-80, uh, well, anywhere. Uh, people think that they can still do the speed limit in that weather. There have been times I'm doing 30 in an 80 just because that's what the road said that you're gonna do, that's what's safe. You know, I get that you don't make money if you're not moving. Park and do a 34. Let the weather calm down. Don't don't be that guy that causes that pileup and causes people to lose their lives. You know, if you have a deadline to, to make a, a delivery, I will guarantee you they understand that there was no way I could go faster. Uh, you're, I don't know. I could go on and on about this for hours. Uh, I see it all day, every day. And it's not just the, the truckers. It's, you know, I've 
I've seen it out of RV guys. I've seen it out of hot shot guys. I've seen it out of just regular cars going down the road. Just, I have to go as fast as humanly possible. You know, I get it. I've been an adrenaline junkie for my whole life. I, you know, I like going fast. I like doing those kind of things, but time and place, guys. Time and place. Anyway, I'm done ranting. Uh, we're gonna get this dropped in the morning. We're gonna go way up north and pray that the uh, ice and snow isn't too bad. And then we're gonna head east and we're gonna bounce around and and uh, hopefully hit some areas that we haven't hit yet in the country. So, with all of that being said, be safe out there. And those of you on the road, as always, I wish you fair winds and following seas. Take care and have a great day.